morning everybody and welcome back to Farmer and Boise. Looking like it's going to be another good day down here in Hampshire. The mist is burning off. We're flinging on the polysulfate. So let's get farming. So for most of us in the UK, spring has sprung. Lots of things are starting to go on on the farm. Lambing started, um, carving will be starting quite soon for a lot of people as well as us. And uh, we're getting out on the fields. We've done a little bit of cultivating. No drilling as of yet, um, because we've got quite a lot of black grass ground. So the ground we've cultivated so far is gonna be rolled down. And we're gonna hopefully get a flush of black grass on it, spray it off. And then we've got a demo coming in on a John Deere 750A drill which um, will hopefully do a cracking job on not disturbing too much soil so that we won't get another flush of black grass before harvest. So at the moment we're out. I've done, I would have said, well, I've done the farm over one and a half times, all the arable. Um, so it's on a fair few acres already. We've done it over the polysulfate. We're going over this field again with polysulfate now because it was too wet when I first started. Um, the barn just there behind us in the second which you should see is now being taken down um, ready to be rebuilt as some let out industrial units the, the phone's going Martin again Valley. so in about an hour's time i'm going to go on to back onto nitrogen so some 46 percent n um, so I'm going to do all the grass over where it's first feed. That'll be all the silage ground over, not the grazing ground. The grazing ground will be done because it's all hills with the dual wheels on Tom's tractor. Um, it's a bit steep. So uh, I'll try and get some footage of that. Um, I think we've got rain coming tomorrow. We've got some brief showers coming tomorrow. So that'll probably stop us from actually going and drilling anything but it will wash the fertiliser into the grass nicely, so that will be good. Um, and then, what's going on then? Grass harrowing, grass rolling, um, and then drilling where weather permits. So there's going to be quite a bit going on. We should start carving in the next few days. I think, really, it should be around the 10th of March, but you always can't really tell sometimes they're a week early so it could be any day now could be after the 10th of march could be a week late but um they're usually pretty punctual so once we start carving i should hopefully get some footage of that get some videos up um if that's something you'd want to see and yeah just lots of bits and pieces really just looking a bit better now you know for video content and bits and pieces probably recognise this field from back when I was drilling wheat out here and Dad was cultivating in front of me um, on the last fields we drilled and it's not looking too bad to be fair you see the wide space because of the Dutch openers and uh, I never tram lined it because I drilled most of it with the old drill so we put in some tram lines ourselves with, uh, with the sprayer Uh, no, it's not looking too bad. Not a bad crop of wheat. This wheat down here is illicit and it was dressed with Ready Go Pro and Vibrance Duo Max. So it's got a, a rooting um, hormone on it. So uh, it looks like it's got going pretty well. The top half of this field was oil seed rape, bottom half of spring barley. So I think I mentioned that in the other video. Uh, not too bad at all.
afternoon everybody, still the same day, different job. Uh, took the fertiliser spinner off, give it a wash off, give the tractor a little bit of a wash. Um, and I've now got the cultivator on. We're out in the field for the butts, which we direct drilled back in, I think it was November time. Uh, we had a go at direct drilling it and it's come up a bit, but not good enough. It's a bit thin. So we're now ripping it up, ready to drill again tomorrow with some Skyfall. Um, yeah, just literally just got out here, just started. So hopefully get this one done this afternoon. So this is the new Cockling Quadro um, that the farm bought back in October, November time. It's not done very much, it's only done a few acres um, in the mud. This is primarily Tom's, the boss's um, cultivator. He does all the cultivator and I do the drilling. But today I've come out here to rip this up because he's rolling some winter wheat that never got rolled back in the autumn. So it's four, just over four metres wide. It's got 15 legs with goose foot tungsten points in it. This is our third Cocklin that we've had here. We had a Cocklin Precision to start with, three metre, which is just a bit too narrow. And then we had a Quadro before this one. Um, and for what ground we have here, with the flints and whatnot, the Cocklin's a fantastic machine. Just puts up with the flints, puts up with the hard clay caps, and then you can bring it in on this lovely soft loamy ground as well. So it's. Uh, it's a real good all round machine. Absolute stunning day, but it's just really hazy. I think we got rain on the way tomorrow. Um, some possible showers, which is a shame, but I don't think they're going to get here into the afternoon, so I'm going to try and get out with a six metre horse sprinter and get this one drilled in the morning at some point, get it done just before the rain comes in. Morning, everybody, it's now Sunday. Um, we're back on the drill now, it's dried out enough, so we finished our fertilizer and our polysulfate, and that we didn't actually do the grass at the end. We went and drilled some, uh, patched in some little bits around some fields, which is pretty boring with um, some wheat inside, didn't bother filming that. And uh, now we're on the barley, so we're, we're drilling a uh, planet out here and in a field that we call Garston Field. It's about 55 acres, so not massive, um, but big enough. We're drilling at 200 kilos per hectare, or 370 seeds per square metre. Um, a little bit of a frost this morning, but it's all right. It's not actually going too bad, so I'll get this one knocked out pretty quick. I've got another four fields down here, I think there's three, three fields down here. Um, and then we'll be heading back up towards the main farm, so. If anybody can hear that creaking, it's the windscreen. If anyone's got any suggestions on how to stop it, 
I've had a new windscreen, I've had new rubber mounts. It's the, the panoramic cam in the John Deere, so um, I think they're notorious for the mounts causing that. The call from Tom TV. Alright Tom? I can see you on there, mate Tom. Where are you then? <laughs> He's in Paraphrase. Where are you? You wait, you'll see the new dog in a minute. Another five seconds in your first. Ready? Yeah. There she is, big dog. Oh, there she is, out the end she goes. Out she comes. video um, we've still got a fair bit left to drill we've got some linseed to go in later on as well um, yeah thanks for watching everybody if you could hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up that'd be great see you in the next video